Hey everyone, my name is Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another World of Warcraft video and I'm going to react to Shadowlands Afterlife Small Draxes and I'm so excited. I really, really, really loved Bastion and after watching that video, I was looking into more of the Shadowlands lore and I guess Maldraxxus, Bastion, and there's a couple others as well, and they're called Covenants, and it's kind of part of your character, and there are areas within the Shadowlands realms, and that is so freaking cool. And when I read the video description of the Maldraxxus, it says, Draca, Orc of the Frostwolf clan, was not a warrior born, but a warrior made. In the fires of battle that forged into the armies of Maldraxxus, Draca must learn that nothing and no one, not even she, is what they seem. Hmm, that is so interesting. And yeah, let's just find out, let's dive into this video. And here we go! In life, I was Draca of the Frostwolf clan. A warrior who gave everything to protect what mattered most. But I was not done fighting. No, she wasn't. Maldraxxus, where the armies of the five houses once stood side by side to protect the realm of death. It was here I served the House of Eyes, a strange fit for a warrior's soul. Okay. Their ways were not mine. Eventually, this life after life began to feel right. The House of Plagues lies in ruins. One fifth of Maltraxis wiped out. Oh no. It's hard to believe they could be so careless. Perhaps they weren't. No matter what happens now, Maldraxxus must stay true to its purpose. For if we fail in our duty, the Shadowlands will fall. I believe the House of the Chosen still stands with us, and I trust you to deliver this to Margrave Draxxus. Now, go. And Draka. Be watchful. My brothers, I am on urgent business. My lord! Hurry! There could be survivors! Once of the Frost Wolf clan, 
now Baroness of the House of the Chosen. And most of all, a protector of Maldraxxus. Yeah, that was the afterlife of Maldraxxus. That was so freaking cool. A lot different than a Bastion, when Bastion has a lot of paragons, angel wings. Maldraxxus has a lot of undead, corpse vibes to it. And it was interesting how they were saying that Maldraxxus is being overrun by the enemies and that one of the areas is being taken down and she needed to deliver this message to this guy and had a key, but then the key wasn't there and, and the guy was like, actually, you're the key. Uh, to hold Maldraxxus together and that uh, you're the chosen one and it's a lot different than um, than Bastion like I said and it was very interesting too um, obviously they're just getting a little teasers tidbits of what these covenants are about and you'll obviously we'll find out more once Shadowlands launches in October and yeah so so cool I'm not sure if I like Bastion or Maldraxxus. What do you guys like? Do you like Maldraxxus or Bastion? What do you think? Let me let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really love to hear that. And yeah, that kind of just wraps up this little quick little reaction. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any cool video suggestions that you like me to do. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.